Medicine is much more than a career. For every doctor, I do believe that this is definitely a calling. I love working with kids. I think it's because children are so resilient. Children could be the sickest patients in the hospital and they're still so positive through the toughest of times. To be able to see these children with chronic illnesses or acute illnesses get better over time, it's very rewarding to know that it's a lifelong impact that we're having in the lives of these children. I think our program does a good job of giving us the tools and skills that we need to make that a reality. And I think that's definitely a motivator for me uh, and probably a lot of my colleagues in pediatrics. My name is Amarjot Pada. I'm one of the pediatric residents at the University of Manitoba. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. I was born in Surrey, BC. I think the training here at the University of Manitoba Department of Pediatrics is, is exceptional. The program here in Winnipeg was definitely the right choice for me for many reasons. Children's Hospital at Health Sciences Centre is the major children's hospital for the province of Manitoba. We serve the entire province of Manitoba, as well as northwestern Ontario and Nunavut. So there's a, a wide catchment area, lots of diversity of population and problems that we see. Um, and it, it's an exciting place to work. I'm a, I'm a hands-on learner and I like to learn by, you know, doing things and learning from the experience and I think that's something that our program does a great job of. I think the other really great thing about our program is the level of autonomy we get early on in training. It's done in a well-supported and positive learning environment. The pediatric residency program and our pediatric residents are really integral to the children's hospital and the clinical programs we offer. We integrate our residents into the daily operations of everything we do. They're involved on our wards, they're involved in our intensive care units, they're involved in our neonatal units, they're involved with all the different subspecialists and their clinics, uh, they're involved in research. And I think it's really exciting for them to be so incorporated into the functioning of such a major center for the province of Manitoba. In Manitoba, we have a wide range of presentations. We have some very interesting presentations. And our residents get to be at the front line. They get to be the first ones in there taking the history, coming up with the plan, following the patient with the support of the faculty. We have a very close relationship between attendings and residents. Our attendings are very supportive. They push us to be the, the best residents and physicians that we can, um, but in a very well-supported way. All of our faculty are invested uh, in offering our, our trainees the best possible training experience. When you graduate from this program, there will be really no scenario for which you are not familiar with, for which you are not comfortable with. You will be well equipped uh, after your training here. We have a very engaged faculty from across the different specialties. My colleagues like to train. They like to have residents working with them in the clinics. They like to have residents with them on the wards. They like to give them opportunities to learn and to do and to experience new things. I definitely feel at home within our program. The residents both in, in my cohort, also the years below and above, have become my new family in Winnipeg. Uh, we're all very close. We support each other, but also hang out and do all sorts of things outside of the hospital as well. A piece of advice I've always given medical students when they're looking at different residency programs is to really look at the residents. When you see a group of residents who are, who are smiling and friendly and getting along well, that speaks more to the residency program than almost anything else you can look for. And that's really one of the things I'm most proud of in our program, I think, their camaraderie and their collegiality and how they all work together to support each other as really one big residency family.
Residency can definitely be um, very challenging. It can be challenging to balance the hours uh, with other aspects of your life. Um, but it's important to always have that balance. We have a real focus on helping residents establish that balance. Residents are, are caught in a funny position between being a student and being a doctor. We feel strongly about supporting our residents on an interpersonal level. We meet with residents on a regular basis. Uh, we take them for coffee. We ask them how they're feeling. We want our residents to, to learn and to develop and to grow into an incredibly rewarding career. A major part of that is, is giving them the tools that they need to take care of themselves. Um, and we call that wellness, and we encourage that in as many ways as we can. Residency is, is definitely a, a balance. Running for me is, is a time to just decompress and clear my mind. The Forks is an amazing destination um, in the heart of Winnipeg, um, a meeting place for you know people from all walks of life to come together. And Winnipeg offers a, a great quality of life in many different ways. The very reasonable cost of living combined with the fact that there's so much to do both in Winnipeg and in Manitoba. I think Manitoba has a lot to offer for people that enjoy spending time outdoors. We've got a world-class symphony, uh, a fantastic art gallery, a fantastic arts movement, um, some of the best restaurants. We have major sports. We have the Jets. We have the Blue Bombers. We have the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, which is the only national museum located outside of Ottawa. We have all sorts of incredible historic sites, and we have a city that, that's fun and affordable to live in. And I've really enjoyed the last few years that I've spent here. Winnipeg has a lot to offer. There's something for everyone. And I think that definitely makes it uh, easy to live here. If I wanted to tell you about the strengths of our program, I would start first with, we have a very strong social pediatrics focus. And we offer a range of experiences related to social pediatrics that is really second to none. Social pediatrics is really the, the recognition of the social determinants of health as it impacts on children. Unfortunately in Manitoba we see a lot of poverty, we see a lot of food insecurity, housing insecurity, um, systemic racism that exists that impacts on the health of the children we take care of. What's unique about our training program is we don't need a rotation in social pediatrics because it's just part of everything we do. Everything we see has a social pediatrics element to it, so our residents in every rotation, in every experience, are getting a chance to learn and to develop their skills in social pediatrics. Moving forward into their training and into their careers, this is something that will, that will pay off down the road. One of the challenges of Children's Hospital is that we are in Winnipeg and we serve a vast province. We serve all of Manitoba, we serve Northwestern Ontario, we serve Nunavut. So this is a huge geography. So a really exciting opportunity for our residents is the ability to travel to those northern communities. These trips provide very unique experience in terms of the unique medicine that we see uh, in more rural and remote areas. They really provide the opportunity to reflect on what is really truly relevant for children in this province and, and what is really meaningful on a societal level. And many of our residents have described these experiences as life altering. The opportunity to, to practice directly in a patient's community is something that, that all physicians should take advantage of. You need to see how they live, you need to understand the situation around them because that will make you a better pediatrician. It's going to make you a more compassionate physician who really understands patient-centered care at that grassroots level. And I think that's a key skill to develop as a resident and I think that's a skill that I will continue to use wherever I end up in terms of practicing. As residents and physicians, we have a unique ability to be able to really push for change within healthcare. Our faculty supports a uh, residency advocacy project in order to be able to give back to the community. All of our residents in their third year work as a group 
on an advocacy project. They decide what they're going to advocate for. Uh, they find a faculty mentor who can support them through that, and then they develop an advocacy program. Uh, and they spend a year developing it, implementing it, Having the support of the faculty to do these projects, you know, is key for residents to be able to develop those key advocacy skills to make a larger impact on our community and really push for a change on a, on a larger system level. And I think for most of the residents, what we've seen is that it awakens in them a, a real awareness of health advocacy, the importance of it, and that impacts their careers. And ultimately, that's what residency training is about. It's about providing the life skills that are going to benefit them in their careers. Health advocacy is, is important for me and something that I hope to continue to be able to incorporate into my practice wherever that may be. I think it's a, a very unique learning experience to, to move and to train uh, in a different healthcare setting. I think it really helps one grow as a clinician and I would encourage all graduates to you know consider moving to a different place to do their residency. I think our residency program really has everything to offer for a new graduate. We have incredible clinical opportunities with a wide range of clinical presentations. We have a supportive resident body that will welcome you in and we have a city that's a great place to live. Our program provides us with world-class training in pediatrics in the setting that supports our wellness and resiliency. And I think the combination of those makes it a great place to, to live, work, and train. Uh -huh.